Buddy, I was raised on NASCAR myself. I've always uh, wanted a chance to go down there and visit the museum. Did you get a chance to check that out while you were down there in Charlotte? No, man, I did not have that much time on my hands, but I intend on making my way back down there uh, sometime in the near future to uh, go and do all that good stuff. Yeah, I think that, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, the original Dale Earnhardt car is there in the museum, and man, I would dig yeah, to see pretty. that. And I, and I know that you would, too, as well, man. I'm pretty jealous of that wicked awesome Dale Earnhardt shirt that I see you wearing all the time. <laughs> Where'd you get that at, man? Uh, man, uh, so I, I think you're talking about the uh, the pit jersey that yeah. I was wearing at uh, Laurel Cove. Um, that's actually my dad's pit jersey that he got at uh, Bristol, and I believe it was like it was either '97 or '99. And uh, he had a he had one that went with it that he had the entire crew of Earnhardt's to sign, and somehow it got lost. And I'm like, mm. how did you lose that, man? <laughs> but uh, oh, man. But he gave me that, and uh, I I keep it with me, and uh, I wear it on occasion because I, I don't want to screw it up or anything. But but yeah, I love that shirt. Man, I'm so jealous of your dad getting to see a legend like that live. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. that's crazy to think yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah, he was a huge. Uh, that's you know that's the reason I'm such a big NASCAR fan. I and I think that really is the case for most NASCAR fans. You don't see necessarily that many new fans in the sport, and unfortunately, it is kind of a uh, a dying out fan base. But I think the people that do watch NASCAR were were more than likely raised watching it from their parents. Yeah, but I think that it's uh, kind of starting to get a a, a a comeback here in the South. I don't know. How yeah, this yeah, movement so started, the, uh, the the Raise Hell, Praise Dale movement that's going <laughs> on right now. I don't yeah. know where that started, man. But I, I think that that is, you know, slowly bringing back uh, people's momentum into uh, mm -hmm. getting back into NASCAR. Yeah, absolutely. I think so, too. Um, you know, I, I've always, you know, I've, I've been pretty much a diehard fan. And I've, you know, went through the sluggish years of watching the crappy racing and stuff like that but I, you know I, I enjoy watching it so much that i really don't care uh how it is i'm gonna watch it anyway but uh in the past couple of years it has definitely gotten a lot better than it's been in, in years past and i think that they're they're starting to make a lot of um moves to uh attract the public eye a little more like i don't know if you were paying any attention this past week but they held the the, the bush clash which is normally held at daytona in speed weeks they held that out in L.A., and they built a quarter-mile track inside the L.A. Coliseum, and they ran the cars on that, and they got a bunch of uh, new fans out there. So I thought that was pretty awesome. Yeah, I've seen the uh, – they, they released a video online about how they went about building the track. I thought that that was pretty fascinating to watch. But, man, you know, I thought that Bristol was small, and then after seeing yeah. that track, I was like, goodness gracious, what was the – top speed 20 miles an hour but uh, yeah. but yeah, hey, they got it done man and like you said you know that yeah. kind of getting that newer fan base who would have thought they'd be doing a race like that out there in la but hey i'm, I'm yeah. glad they did it well it's kind of like the stuff they were doing back in the 90s like when they went over to japan and uh, did that exhibition race over there you know i think that's kind of stuff that is gonna win back the hearts and minds and uh, that's really what they need to do i believe or just take it back to the really old days and put some moonshine in the trunk or something like that and get Johnny Law behind them and really see how yeah. fast them cars can go. <laughs> yeah, right. They turn them loose, I bet. So, so is uh, Dale Earnhardt your favorite driver, or do you got a favorite driver going right now? Mine's always been oh, uh, Mark Martin. I was always a big fan of him. Oh, yeah, night. man. Uh, well, it's kind of funny. My, my papa, Jim, uh, he, he was always a big Mark Martin fan, and my dad was always a big Earnhardt fan. So there was, that was kind of a big rift between them because, you know, you got Mark Martin, who's a squeaky clean driver, and then Dale Earnhardt, who pretty much believed that, you know, if you were in front of him, then you were in the way. So yeah, uh, I, I, I like both those guys. You know, and, like, I don't really necessarily even have a favorite driver now. I'm just kind of an enthusiast of the sport. I like to watch it. Uh, I like Kyle Busch. I like his driving style a lot. Um uh, Chase Elliott, of course, and uh, Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney's actually a, a pretty big music fan too, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, he's uh, he's had Arlo McKinley on his. Um, he he did some kind of uh, like podcast or something with Arlo McKinley, and uh, he's vouched for uh, Tyler Childers a few times too. And I thought that was pretty cool, man. Oh man, I haven't seen that. I have to check that out. I, I'm a big Arlo yeah. fan too, man. He's got some great stuff. Yeah, he does. <laughs> 